Hi everyone you are welcome to Gadgets and Modern Space channel. Please subscribe my channel and like share. Hi everyone, this is the Gadgets and Modern Space channel. This is the video of the Gadgets and Modern Space channel. This is the video of the Gadgets and like and share and comment. Please subscribe to my channel. This is the Gadgets and Modern Space channel. Welcome to Gadgets and Modern Space Channel. Today this video is about products of Boat A Home. The Escape 2 rides on a very robust alloy trailer, with beam axles and spring suspension. Forward on both sides of the A-frame is a set of access steps with handrails to allow easy access to the entry door. A spare wheel is fitted between the steps and the hitch is a standard 3500 kg ball type. Electric slash hydraulic brakes and a breakaway system is fitted. The rig is secured to the trailer via a forward winch mount, side ratchet tie downs on the four corners, and the raised trailer section between the hulls. The hulls sit on broad Teflon skids for ease of launching and retrieval. The trailer is also fitted with an electric winch and submersible lights. The Escape 2 is built from lightweight marine composite, with buoyancy foam in the bow, stern, and the twin hulls to provide additional strength and positive buoyancy. The exterior finish is very slick. All handrails and the roof access ladder are stainless steel, and a FIAMA wind-out awning is fitted. Up top is plenty of room for a spot of sunbathing, as well as solar panels, air conditioner, and TV antenna. Access to the roof is via a ladder, easy to negotiate, beside the front door on the port side. This is a very open rig, with plenty of windows, all screened in with blinds. Entry to the Escape 2 is via a forward door, unheard of in a normal caravan, with central walkway down the center. Along the starboard side is the helm station, with the dinette, fridge console, washing machine and bench top to the rear. Along the port side is the kitchen area, with shower slash toilet module midships and the lounge slash bed to the rear. And across the rear is a covered deck with the outboard in the center. The helm station is tucked into the forward starboard corner, with throttle and trim controls, GPS slash sounder and the lighting control panel all within easy reach. There is good visibility at this point, making for easy driving. Behind the helm is the dinette with a removable table and two bench seats. The forward seat back pivots to form either the backrest for the helm, or for a diner. The seating is comfortable and there's plenty of room for a couple, and the big window backing the dinette allows the views in as you dine. Behind the dinette is a fridge console with a 118 liter fridge, and astern of that is the washing machine and a nest of drawers and storage space under a bin top. A TV can be positioned on the bench and another long window makes things open and airy. A microwave is positioned above the fridge. At the roof line along the starboard side is a line of overhead lockers for additional storage. Along the port side the kitchen, galley, is up forward, with a spacious bench featuring a covered sink and range with a three burner gas cooktop, grill, and oven. Drawers are installed beneath the bench top and a wide storage locker is fitted above the bench. A range hood and light are positioned above the cooking area, and yet another big window backs the galley. A stern of the kitchen is the bathroom, a roomy module with a cassette toilet, shower and vanity basin all molded in gleaming fiberglass. A stern of the bathroom is a long lounge that doubles as a fold-out double bed. This bed can remain as a lounge, or be left made up. There is plenty of room to walk around the bed if that's your choice. Above the lounge slash bed are yet more storage lockers and another big window lets the outside in. And then there's the rear deck, with marine carpet and stainless steel rails, and with storage lockers under the deck. The 80 HP Suzuki outboard sits in the middle at the rear, with boarding pads on each side. This is a handy utility area on land, but a great deck while on the water. The interior finish is all molded in glossy fiberglass, easy to wipe clean, and extremely tidy. The wide open feel of the layout makes it easy to slip into holiday mode. As a land-based caravan the Escape 2 will go where any big blacktop tourier will go, and while its floor level is higher than your normal caravan, it will still feel at home in a van park. But the extraordinary advantage of the Escape is its houseboat ability. It's easy to launch, and once on the water it really shines. Pushed along by the big Suzy it will take you anywhere on enclosed waters, lakes, dams, big rivers and the like, for an extended floating free camp. Ideally a small tinny mounted on top of the tow car will allow a bit of fishing. 
As far as on water performance goes, if there's a bit of chop you'll need to close the front entry door, since there's only a low combing above the front deck level. But heck, she ain't designed to challenge anything other than inland waters or coastal rivers and bays. Retrieving the escape is also pretty easy. You can use the power winch, but it's far easier to simply drive the rig up the skids and onto the trailer with the engine. The rig as shown was towed by a standard 4WD ute, but tow ratings applied by vehicle manufacturers are a bit of a mystery. With this rig, fully loaded with fuel, water, gas, and all the other bits you'll need for a long trip, I'd be looking at a max rated tug, 3500 kilograms, just to make towing, launching, and so on easier. There is no doubt any such rig, designed to be as versatile as the Escape 2, will have compromises somewhere in its design. However this boat Aame really comes very close indeed to providing the best of both worlds, a big touring caravan and a really fine houseboat.
All new quest. G'day guys, Luke here from Boda Home. Today we're very proud to release our brand new model for 2020. Bode Home has been producing trailable houseboats for well over a decade now. We love innovation and constantly improving our product. Which is why we are leading the industry. Bode Home has fast become the number one trailable houseboat in the world for many reasons. For us, it. Bode Home is proud to release our flagship model for 2020. Quest series is now available to order. Bode Home has been producing trailable houseboats for well over a decade now. We love innovation and constantly improving our product, which is why we are leading the industry. Bode Home has fast become the number one trailable houseboat in the world for many reasons. For us, it has always been about the product and the customer satisfaction. We have listened to our customers' feedback as there is no one better than the people that are using them. Over the last couple of years, we have been putting all our ideas together to bring out our new model and to see it finally taking shape is extremely exciting. This is an outstanding achievement from the entire team the quality demonstrated is exceptional. We have some fantastic new features aboard this beautiful craft. Brand new floor plan giving our customers more options. Try hull option now available. New style marine grade rear door with a fantastic bifold window to really bring the outside in. Brand new cockpit look for the captain with a very comfortable signature cruiser swivel seat. Armrests with flip-up thigh support giving you more space and comfort as you enter the area. Pop-up mini bar. Easy fold-out double bed slash sofa. Higher gunnel line giving you more freeboard and more suited to choppy conditions on the water. Wireless phone charger, LED cup holders. Underwater blue LED lights. Rear roller blinds. No permit required completely legal under tow. guys i hope you've enjoyed the tour through the all new quest series we've had a ball out here today if you've got any more questions be sure to jump on our website or get in contact with one of our team members and we'd love to have a chat